Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am taking a step back to the beginning because one of the most common, common, common comments that I get are that people are afraid. Some of you are afraid to get started, afraid to list your first item, afraid to fail. I don't want you to feel that way. I don't want you to feel afraid to try. You're gonna have hits, you're gonna have misses, but you've gotta start somewhere. So today, we're gonna go to the thrift store together. I'm gonna pick out a few things that are my gut instincts, and I'll talk to you about why, and then we're going to choose one of those items to go through the full listing process with photographs, listing it on eBay, and I'm gonna use only my phone. I'm gonna use this little table behind me, just the app, so you can see you don't have to have anything fancy to get started. All you need is your phone and 20 bucks, maybe, not even. All right, let's do this. Let me take you through a few of the things I picked up and a couple of these I've put away or I put back. So first up is this gem tree, gemstone tree rather, $3.99 they wanted on that. There was a little damage, but I know they can sell really well. They can sell really well, but I think the one that I got is maybe a lower end one, so it's not going to be a big winner. And then this was a pharmaceutical Flomax uh, clipboard, and pharmaceutical stuff can sell really well as well. But this pharmaceutical clipboard, there's one up for sale for about 25 bucks. But just to show you that there are some like so even with Flomax, you know, it's Post-it notes. But there's one of the clipboard up, it's not sold, that um, is for 25 bucks. So I went ahead and got it, because I can just wait and sit on it. Uh, this little plush, I always like to pick up plush that's unique, that I haven't seen before. Didn't find any sold on that. And then the same thing with these M&Ms. I really thought these were going to be some of the big winners. Because <laughs> there's Star Wars at M&M, there, there were quite a few of them. So I ended up getting all of the M&Ms. I didn't look everything up while I was there. I just kind of went off my gut. But I did look up a few things. Now, what I'll probably end up doing is just lotting all of these together because there weren't really that many sold even. So at, what did I pay? A few bucks a piece. And yeah. So yeah, I'll just lot them together and see what happens. Now, these magic snowballs were the crazy winners of the day. And that's ones that sold that didn't have tags or anything. They sold for $35. And then this was another cool, like, stingray. I thought, again, like, I love picking up animals, stuffed animals that are in good condition, that are nice, that are unique. And that one, again, wasn't really selling for that much. The stein I ended up putting back because I did look it up. And steins usually, you know, they, they can sell for really good money. But this particular one... The brand is okay. Some of the, the steins from this brand can sell, but this one, there were none sold, and I found one up for 30 bucks. These, again, I thought these were going to be the big winners. These are Pottery Barn candle candlesticks. They're not, I mean, they there were some sold for pretty good profit on these. Um, on, you can kind of see where the Pottery Barn was rubbing off on the, on the base of it. On the other one, I don't turn it over to the right side to show you, but you can see the Pottery Barn mark on it. This is a sold for $35. And then this was a set of uh, Snow White, and it was called Vice Vil Vilcroy and Roach or something like that, but they, they weren't, there weren't any sold on that as well. I thought that was unique. It looks like from all the things that I got at Goodwill today, these ended up being probably the, probably gonna be the best, quickest sellers. Random, correct? They are, Magic Snowballs from Hallmark. I'm trying to get it to light up. There you go. And it lights up like this. I got two. Bang it. So you see it lighting up. And I got them for a buck twenty-nine a piece. And there are, as far as I could tell, there were none up for sale. But all the ones that it sold, these like in a pair they were about 50 bucks so let's uh jump on listing those what do you say let's do it first thing i'm gonna do is get this label off so i'm gonna try to get it off as easily as best i can because i don't want to take the new tags off so let's see how i do I'm wobbly here 
but I wanted to show you. I'm just taking my fingernail and just kind of pushing at this to slowly get it to peel up. Let me see if I can set this down. It's going to wobble on you. Hang on. So there's what I've got. It's mm, okay. I don't want to mess it up though. So probably what I'll do is I'll just leave it like that. And let's see a little bit where my fingernails pushed on it. But I'll just disclose in the listing that there's some residue on the tag. But as far as the snowball goes, it, it's in good shape. Except for the sticky I just got on it. All right, let me knock those off and do the other one. Let's uh, get these photographed. I'm gonna use my little table here since we're doing this just like I don't have any any setup. So I'm just gonna use my phone and my little table. Let me clear this off. There have been times where I was on a road trip, someone else was driving and I have used my pants, like my black pants as background for some jewelry or buttons or something small that didn't need a, a three dimensional, uh, you know, it wasn't very, I could lay it flat basically. So, you don't have to have a big setup. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna clear this table off and we're gonna just take pictures of them on the table here. It's gonna be a little wobbly on the phone. So I'm, I've just cleared the table off and I'm trying to get the snowballs centered. I choose to square the image because square is the ratio, the one-to-one -one ratio that eBay accepts or takes its best, not they accept it, but it's the best format. Next, I go into the eBay app and I type in the item. I've already looked it up, as you well know. So I realize that instead of listing the item, I can go into the solds and make my life a lot easier. So if you look through the solds, I find the one that looks like the best listing that sold for the best price, the one that is most similar to mine. And there's a button that says sell one like this. What that does is that populates everything that person put into their listing except for their photos pretty much so you'll go in and you can select your photos to put in there and you can tweak their title and i double check everything to make sure that the, all the item specifics are correct so it's uploading the photos i took if y'all hear noises in the background my apologies my kids are doing dishes and i'm not going to complain about that <laughs> So there is a feature in the eBay app to take out the background. And when I did it, I didn't like how it turned out because it's like white on white. And then it didn't, it wasn't great. So if it was something else, it, it, you know, an, a darker item, it might be okay. I go ahead and try it again. And then I see like it turns black. I'm like, oh, I like that. But it doesn't save that way. But I have a fix for that in just a second. So I go ahead because I thought, well, let me have at least one without my table in the background. So next I go in and I want to take some pictures with it lit. So I'm having to really try to capture the picture because it's a flashing light, not just a, a static light. So I go through, take a bunch of pictures, finally get a few that have the light. So it shows that it's working. And there is also a way to upload a video. There's a way to do that where you're putting it in the description. But I'm going to show you in a minute how I'm doing that through eBay where you can put a video in where the photos are. But when I was editing the photos, you know, I found this where it showed up black for a second. And so what I did was I took a screenshot of it. You know how you accidentally take screenshots of your homepage? All that I do it all the time. Well, I took a screenshot when it did that and then I uploaded my cat's going bonkers. And then I uploaded that with the black background because it really showed the contrast. So I liked that a lot. Then I'm getting that on there. I'm making that my first photo because it really shows the contrast of the white. He is like going along the edge of the bed, like dragging himself. What a weirdo. <laughs> He's a cat. And now I'm going to take a little video clip showing one that they're super clean and that also they are lighting up. And so you see, you know, the little flashing on them. I don't add the part where I'm banging it. I'm able to like edit that little bit out on the, on the video. So next up, I'm coming through here. I'm changing the store categories because it automatically put it in my other category. So change the store categories there. Go through, I'm making sure that all of the things that were preset from the 
copy because I kind of copied over that cell one like this. Make sure all that looks correct. And then I'm gonna go through and create my description. And I don't put a whole big bunch of stuff in this. I copy the title because usually that has a lot of the keywords that I need. And then I just paste that in. I tick off the word rare. I haven't played around this AI generated thing yet, but maybe I need to. Then after I take that out, basically all I usually put, I'm gonna take that clicking out first, hang on. <laughs> Here we go. So basically um, all I put is the title, I take off rare, I share the condition of the item, that it's clean, that there's some residue on the tag, and that's pretty much it. I'll put the brand, just saying, you know, it's a Hallmark branded item, and that I don't put too much more on there. Then it comes down to pricing. They have it automatically set up on auction, so I take that off because I don't usually do auction. I've done it for a few things here and there, but not a whole lot. I put it on buy it now and also I do allow best offer because there were none up for sale right now that I could find I end up and, the, and then the highest price one that sold was $50 I put mine at $65 or $64.99 and because I have best offer turned on the person they can choose to send an offer for the item if they like you don't have to do it that way uh, but that's just what I chose to do and what else uh, do I'm looking through to see oh the shipping so they for whatever reason they had it at 2.2 pounds there's no way this weighs it doesn't even weigh one pound so generally I'll put it at like 15 ounces just to hedge my bets but when I did that and I adjusted the, the, the size of the box I chose 8 by 6 by 4 they, they would probably both fit in a 6 by 4 by 4 box but I wanted just to make sure but even at that point, it's still like, and then I took off priority and I put the ground advantage and it still was like 650 or something for shipping. I thought, oh, that's too much. So I went again and I changed from 15 ounces down to like 10 ounces. It's not even that much. They're like little snowballs. They don't weigh anything. But I, you know, I know there's a lot of changes going on with the post office and shipping and I don't want to you know, cut myself short on the shipping. And that's pretty much all that I do there. Then I want to add the little video that I created, just a short video showing it. And you have to go to the eBay website. You can use your phone browser. So I go to ebay.com on my little Safari app and I go in there I find my listing and when I open it up, I click revise listing. And at that point, when I select the, the little plus, now you have the option to make a little video or to upload one. So that is where I go in and I upload the video that I took of my item flashing. And you see, I cut out the part on your iPhone you can edit the photo in your, well, where your photos are. And so I just clipped that little part off. So it doesn't show me banging it on the table. And it does take a minute. So you see there it's uh, uploading. It takes a minute for it to process. Once it's processed, then I notice it says under review. I've never really done that before. I usually go a different way where I put a video in the part where it shows description box, but that's a whole other process. And I'm trying to make it easy for you. Again, I don't know if there's sound in the video that you can upload like that, but it doesn't really matter for this item because it doesn't make sounds. Then I know on Etsy, there's no sounds on the item. Then I save it out and I am done. It has been revised. And then I'll just look through it and see how it looks. Overall, it looks pretty good. I know, you know, it's just on a little table, nothing fancy, but this is just to show you that you don't have to have fancy equipment. My first photos when I first started reselling were horrendous. So those are the big winners. We'll see how they, how they do. There were literally none up for sale on eBay. Some of the ones that had sold recently weren't working and then some didn't have tags. It makes me want to go back and see if there were more.
We just found them randomly because we were looking at these M&M guys, which I thought were going to be the winners today. So we got all these M&M Empire guys. And sorry about the lighting, y'all. I'm trying to make this for reals without all the production value. That was the stuff that I really thought. I thought these were going to be the big winners. But I may still lot them up. There's not a lot sold. I mean, people love Star Wars, but I don't know how much they love Star Wars and... M&M's. I still haven't looked up this guy. I like to pick up plush that is unusual and I had not seen a, I don't know, it's like a jackrabbit almost with those big old tall ears and they're really fluffy. So that I haven't looked up. I haven't looked up the, <laughs> I haven't looked up this one yet either. The He's not a stingray. I guess he is a stingray because he doesn't have the the big things that come out the front. The mint. What was that one called? I forgetting. I'm forgetting. Destination Nation. He was a buck ninety nine. Stingray. Yeah. Titanium. Yep. So there's a few other things here that I'm gonna look up. That light is right there on you. And like I got these Pottery Barn because I know you know Pottery Barn does well generally. These are hammered Pottery Barn. Those Crate and Barrel tea light holders. And then these little, I have to read what it says in there. There's a mark. Oh my gosh, something, I think it says Denmark, but I don't know for sure. I'll have to get my cheaters. Age, it's a son of a gun. Okie dokes, yep. And then I'm gonna look that up too because I like picking up leather journals and stuff and this is one that you can put your papers in it's a buck 99 i loved the green not that i need it but I'm like maybe i do need it maybe i do k b k on the back all righty well let me know if that was helpful let me get my hand out of the way and let me know if hopefully it was helpful because I'm trying to make it where you don't feel intimidated by jumping in there and finding something to sell. You never know. I mean, just the random of all the things, right? These <laughs> snowballs that were the winners of the, of the thrift day. And yeah, I'll let you know when they sell, hopefully soon. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button. It really does help a lot. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.